Just south of the Great Glen next to Loch Lochy and close to Fort William in the northern Scottish Highlands, there is a valley situated that is world famous amongst earth scientists around the world. This valley is called Glen Roy and is famous for some strange geological features called the Parallel Roads. The Parallel Roads of Glen Roy have fascinated local people and travellers for many centuries. Once it was thought that they were constructed by Celtic warrior Fingal the Giant as hunting roads or that they were the work of fairies. These parallel roads and other landforms and sediments in Glenroy have been a subject of geological studies for over 200 years. During the 19th century the roads became the subject of intense scientific debate amongst some of the great minds of the time. Studies by famous scientists such as Darwin, Agassiz and Jameson focused on the origins of the parallel roads themselves. Initially it was thought that the shorelines were of marine origin and formed during a period when the sea reached much higher levels. Amongst the proponents of this theory were both Charles Darwin and Charles Lyell. It was in particular Darwin who was impressed by Glenroy. In 1838 he wrote to Lyell, I wandered the mountains in all directions and examined that most extraordinary district. It is far the most remarkable area I ever examined. I can assure you Glenroy has astonished me. However, it was Louis Agassiz, the famous researcher of glacial features, who proposed the existence of a former ice dammed lake as the origins of the roads. It gradually became accepted that these were indeed former lake shores. They were formed when ice blocked Lower Glenroy some 13,000 years ago and caused an ice dammed lake to form. This photograph of a present day ice dammed lake in western Greenland illustrates very well what the landscape around Glenroy would have looked like at this time. There are three parallel roads of former lake shores at 260 meters, 325 meters, and 350 meters. The lowest shoreline was formed when ice advanced from the Ben Nevis area and blocked Glenroy and nearby Glen Speen. Water drained over the lowest available outlet into Strath Spey in the east, this outlet being 260 meters above sea level. Ice advanced further into Glenroy, blocking the outlet and the water level rose to 325 meters when it found another outlet on the southern side of Lower Glenroy. Ice continued to advance, blocking the 325 meters outlet and the water rose to 350 meters when the lake found a third outlet at the eastern end of Glenroy. When climate began to warm again and the ice retreated, the opposite process occurred. Lake levels began to fall, stabilizing at the same levels as when the ice was advancing. Finally, the ice then broke, draining the lake and revealing the landscape of Glenroy as we see it today. Today, Glenroy is one of the lesser known nature reserves in Scotland, which will assure that the parallel roads will be protected for future generations to enjoy and to study.